Hey Kansas City, it's Chef Tom Belil and student Jermaine Sims. We hope that you try this Eggs Benedict and we hope you love it. Really, enjoy. Hey Kansas City, it's Chef Tom from the Cardinal Cafe. How you doing today? I don't know if you remember my friend from last week. This is Jermaine Sims. Hello. Jermaine, what high school do you go to? I go to Paseo Academy. Awesome. What do you do at Paseo? Uh, mostly just uh, play music, actually. Really? And, and what, what is your instrument of choice? Uh, instrument of choice is um, bass, guitar, and piano at the moment. Wow, that's awesome. The bass guitar is very cool. Very cool indeed. So how long have you been in culinary over here at... Uh, that manual? Uh, it's been a few months, a few great fun months just cooking. Nice. Well, Kansas City, what we're doing here today is we're going to knock out Eggs Benedict, okay? Because Eggs Benedict is going to be the last of our five mother sauces in the series. What sauce goes on Eggs Benedict? Hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce. So, if you look at our, our table, you'll see some eggs, some lemon, salt, hot sauce. <laughs> Clarified butter. I want you to take a good look at the butter Because this is what's called clarified butter or ghee Okay, if you want to buy that in the store that is G H E E Ghee, okay in order to clarify your butter What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put your butter on the stove and you're gonna skim off the fat solids that come across the top and then after you get the fat solids off you're gonna skim the ghee or the golden butter itself from the milk fats at the bottom okay so you're essentially taking all of the butter away from the fats from the milk and the fat solids and you're, you're winding up with this really pretty golden butter that we're going to use in our sauce today this is an emulsified sauce this is a cooked sauce hollandaise is really hard to make especially if you are not patient you're going to see us take the, the bowl on and off the heat several times today, trying to get the emulsification correct, okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to separate eggs. And we're just going to do that by taking the egg and cracking it right into our hand, okay? And we let the white cruise right through our fingers, okay? Jermaine, have you learned about any other mother sauces? Uh, yes, four actually. Really? What are they? Well, all together we have tomato sauce, hollandaise, espagnole, valute, and... Is there a bechamel? No, I'm just kidding. Of course, of course there's a bechamel. <laughs> so, when we remember that, we go by Better Hope Tomorrow's Very Exciting mm -hmm. for bechamel, hollandaise, valu tomato, and espanol, okay? Now, as you can see in this bowl, we are not getting any egg white in here. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that there's several different ways to go ahead and separate eggs. You can put them, you know, into the shell back and forth. But very often in doing that, for me personally, I've gone ahead and I've broken the yolk doing that. So that's just not as easy mm -hmm. for me. And I'm just going to take these whites and set them aside. I'm going to give my hands a quick sanitation, okay? Because when you are dealing with raw eggs, you're dealing with salmonella. So the fact of the matter is, is that sanitation is everything. Okay? So, we've got these beautiful, perfect egg yolks. And believe it or not, this is going to turn into the most delicious sauce for our hollandaise. So what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut off this burner. Because this pot was boiling very nice and hard. 
and that's really all we need for heat. We're gonna take about a tablespoon of water and put in there with our eggs. We're gonna come over the heat and we're just gonna start working them, okay? These eggs, like I say, we're gonna be on the heat, we're gonna be off the heat because we have to be very careful when we're doing this not to get too much heat on these eggs because what are you gonna wind up with? Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, is that what we want? No. No, okay? And this is a process. This process takes a few minutes. I'm going to be very honest with you. And you're on the heat, you're off the heat. You're on the heat, you're off the heat. Back and forth. Yeah, back and forth continually, okay? And you can see that these eggs, we're already getting some nice air in there, and we're already starting to change to a little bit of a lemon color, lemon yellow. And that's what we're looking for, okay? In just about another minute, Jermaine's going to start drizzling some of this clarified butter in here. What's the other name for the clarified butter? Ghee. The ghee. Very good. That's great. Good job. So, here we go. We are doing so well right now. All right. What I want you to do, Jermaine, is I want you to slowly start ladling a little bit of that ghee in here. I want just a drizzle, okay? And again, we're on and off the heat. Tell me you're ready. Yep, whenever, whenever you decide to go, I'm good. The thing is with this, is that this sauce is a very volatile little sauce. Bring it right out into the middle. There you go. Drizzle her in. So now you can almost immediately see the appearance of this sauce changing. Drizzle, 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 go, go, go. All right, there you go. Let's get one more. You're all right. Okay, we have to continue on and off the heat, on and off the heat. Okay, sorry, come on. Give me one more. All right. You can see our sauce is a beautiful lemony yellow. And right now we're just letting it take all that heat because in just a second, we're gonna stop adding our butter, okay? Now what I want you to do, Jermaine, is I want you to keep on moving this around in here just like this, don't be shy. Just move it around, take it, go. Okay, so. We've got this beautiful little sauce working, okay? We're gonna go ahead with some salt, and we're gonna get some hot sauce in there. Typically, I would go after the Tabasco sauce, but Frank's Red Hot, Louisiana, <laughs> any of those work perfectly fine, all right? So, the fact of the matter is, is that we got this nice lemon here. We gotta get some lemon juice into our mixture. What you didn't see off camera just now is that I was sanitizing my knife, okay? <laughs> Anytime you're using a knife, first thing you do is sharpen it. Fortunately for me, I just sharpened this one. Here we go with some lemon juice. Stir, 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 fast, fast, fast. There we go, very nice. Okay, at this point, we're gonna taste our sauce because I'm not gonna believe that I got it right, right off the bat. <laughs> This is a really touchy little sauce and it takes a little bit of persistence to get it right. Okay, keep stirring. Wow, um, I love it. I think maybe just a touch more heat and a touch more salt. One more just like that. And we're going to give her one more check. Okay? You okay? That's amazing. I tell you what, we're going to have Jermaine keep on stirring. <laughs> and we're going to come back in one minute. You're going to love this when we show you the presentation. We'll be right back.
I chose manual because it's challenging and fun and it can help me with college. I chose manual because I wanted to get a jump start in my career with culinary arts. I chose manual to acquire skills I'd use in real life. I chose manual because I want to be an ER doctor and be an EMT is my first step. Kickstart your future today at Manual Career and Technical Center. Manual is open for all 11th and 12th grade students in both Kansas and Missouri. Learn more today at enrollkc.org slash manual or call 816-418-5200. The desire to create lives within each of us. From Grammy-winning producers and musicians, to NBA stars, to Navy admirals and Medal of Honor recipients, to internationally renowned artists and beloved local muralists, Paseo graduates have been creating their own success, their own history, their own legacy since 1926. Now it's your time. Create your future at Paseo Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. Learn more at enrollkc.org slash Paseo. Hey Kansas City, it's Tom and Jermaine from the Cardinal Cafe. And today we're working on our Eggs Benedict. You can see that we've made an absolutely beautiful hollandaise sauce. Our hollandaise sauce is one of the mother sauces. And I know we continue to go through it. Better hope tomorrow is very exciting. Bechamel hollandaise, valu tomato espanol, okay? If you are going to work in a restaurant in Kansas City, you bring that in in your quiver and you tell them, I got my five mother sauces, I know how to make them. I attended Manual Career Technical Center. You know what? They're gonna give you a second look. I'm just saying. So, when we make our Eggs Benedict, we have English muffins, Canadian bacon, eggs, and our hollandaise sauce. We also have some amazing breakfast potatoes that we just fried up. I'm not gonna lie, we put our own spice on there and it is off the chain. It is delicious. So, what we're gonna do now, and I hesitate every time because we're gonna poach eggs on TV. And so, one of the interesting things is right now people talk about the vortex when you're poaching an egg that you get your water swirling around in the pot, okay? And then you crack your egg in there. Okay, that's awesome if you are poaching one egg, okay? But realistically, in this business, we're not gonna poach one egg at a time. So, we're gonna take our eggs, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stop our water, okay? We've just got a really heavy simmer, if not a light boil. We're gonna crack these eggs right in here, being very careful about the steam on your hands, okay? We're gonna get these eggs cracked right in there. Oh my goodness, we are looking good so far. We're three out of four. Let's get our last one in here and hope we can do it without breaking it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Come on in here and get a look at that, Jonathan. We got four winners right in the pan. <laughs> of course, we need to sanitize our hand. What's the most important thing about eggs, Jermaine? You don't wanna let it cook too long. Okay, I was looking for salmonella, <laughs> but you're right. We don't want it. We don't want it to cook too long. We absolutely do not. So that also does help with salmonella as well. Oh yes, this, we need to cook these eggs up to around 145. Okay, that's our egg temperature. So right now, at this point, while these eggs are poaching, what I want to do is I want to cut a little garnish. So if I can have that orange. Thank you, sir. We're just gonna get, oh, four nice slices of orange. Wait a minute, what am I doing wrong here? This is a ready to eat food product. I need my gloves. You do need gloves. Okay, here's the thing. If you find that you are not doing the right thing, stop and do the right thing. It takes one second, okay? And the fact of the matter is, is that we didn't touch the meat of the orange. All we touched was the rind. So everything is good. But the fact of the matter is, when we're dealing with cooked food, we need to put on our gloves. Now, these eggs have been cooking hard for a couple of minutes. We're looking at five to six minutes on a poached egg. I'm going to drop this heat just a little. If I could have that leaf lettuce, Jermaine. We're going to take this. We're just going to get a nice 
healthy little piece of leaf lettuce. Get it up here on our plate. Oh, you can see that steam from the water is getting my glasses. <laughs> That's just fine. The one weakness of cooking. Watch this. Put that guy back. We're going to get us a couple of pieces of orange on each plate. If I can get one of the best looking strawberries you got there. We're going to cut that baby right in half. Get it right onto our oranges. Listen, Kansas City. Here's the deal. I like a three color garnish, okay? I like red, I like orange, I like green. I think garnish is important. It brings color to your eye. It makes your plate look amazing. So on this plate, we're gonna start with some potatoes. And I mean, these look so good. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, a fried potato is one of my favorite things in the world. But when I put our house seasoning on it that we make right here in the, in the Cardinal Cafe, oh my gosh, I am so happy. And this seasoning is no, no big mystery, okay? This is salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, some paprika, some chili powder, and one more secret ingredient. <laughs> okay, we've got some nice potatoes on those plates, right? Let's get rid of these little guys. Let's set that aside. Now, I'm going to take this whole thing and move it over a little. Super hot. You have to be very careful. We're going to go ahead with our English muffins that we toasted right on our broiler. We're going to get those inside the rim of the plate. All right. Okay. Now, we got this really great looking Canadian bacon that also we did on our broiler. I love the flavor of the broiler on meats and on breads, especially for toasting. We can set that guy right over to our cart. Now, if my timing is correct, which generally it is, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our spoon. We always need a slotted spoon. And we're going to see if we can't get these eggs out of here without breaking them. And I'm going to tell you what, you look at that, Kansas City, that is a gorgeous poached egg. Okay, you're going to want to get some of that liquid off of there. And then you're going to want to go right to your Canadian bacon with it. Okay, got our next one. Yeah, they're, they're looking really good. Oh, let's turn him over. There we go. Because we want that nice... Light, yolky part looking up at us. Isn't that beautiful? It is. This is really working out very well. All right, so this is a naked eggs benedict. But we're going to dress it up because we've got this amazing hollandaise sauce, which honestly, Kansas City, I'm not going to lie to you. I started out my career as a saucier, and this is the reason why. Because when we put a sauce on something and we dress it up, I don't know, to me, there's just not anything much happier. And I do, I, I like a good portion of hollandaise sauce or any other sauce that I'm putting on something. All right, now, we're going to finish this up with a little shot of fresh parsley. Can you use dry parsley? Yeah. yeah. That's my man right there. No, we don't want no dry parsley, okay? Fresh parsley doesn't take anything to make happen. It doesn't cost that much. You know, let's try and do it right. I want you to make sure that the rim of your plate is clean. And guess what, Kansas City? There is an amazing Eggs Benedict. Would you eat that? I would eat that right now. Well, you're going to in about two seconds once we get done with this shot. Hey, Kansas City, thanks for joining us. And remember, if there's something that you want that you haven't saw on the show or we've gone too quickly with something and you want some more detail on it, shoot us an email at T-B-E-L-I-S-L-E -E at kcpublicschools.org. Hey, Kansas City, I hope you make this X Benedict. I hope you love it. Most of all, I hope you take a picture and send it to me. Hey, from Tom and Jermaine, have a great day, Kansas City.